Hi, my name is Emanuele Tavares. I'm from Brazil and I study biomedicine at the University of Huerta. And today I have the pleasure to be meeting and talking with Catalin Carico, who is the Nobel Prize Laureate in Physiology or Medicine of 2023. Would you like to introduce a little bit about yourself? Uh, my name is Katalin Koriko, as you just said, and um, I am originally from Hungary. I get my education in Hungary and my uh, degree. I am basically a biochemist. And when I was 30 years old, I went to the United States and uh, did the rest of the work there. And uh, I am happy to be here mm -hmm. and talk to you today. And uh, what went through your mind when you heard that you had won the Nobel Prize of 2023? <laughs> you know, it's... Um, People saying that, oh, Cutty, every scientist is dreaming about getting a Nobel Prize. Mm. I never had such a dream. Really? No, I, I'm dreaming about doing research and not getting some kind of award. Mm. And, and of course, it is a, a, a absolutely great privilege to belong to those group of the best, best scientists that received this award and um, that's what you know you look at there and somebody who discovered blood types and get the Nobel Prize or you know Marshall Berry who discovered that actually you know ulcer is caused by bacteria and many other things I was reading about and and belong to this group of scientists I mean that's uh, mm. that's the real privilege mm -hmm. and uh, what do you think the success means to you yeah, you know, I read about how people define success. Mm. You know, some say that success is that you can get up after you failed and how many times you still get up and move on with the same enthusiasm. That's the success. Other one colleague said that, you know, did you know that the success is measured at how many language you're Wikipedia page is translated. No, I never heard about that. That's measured the success, how successful you are. And uh, for me, is um, uh, for me the real success was when I heard back from, uh, for example, an elderly home, that um, uh, the those who were living there were already vaccinated, but only one vaccine they received. And one week later, the first person came down with uh, COVID and. Uh, and all of a sudden, many of them get uh, infected, but nobody died. And they realized because they already had one dose of vaccine was sufficient mm -hmm. to protect them. And, and do you know, for uh, reading and seeing, they send me pictures, you know, they celebrated that uh, occasion that prior to that, if in an elderly home, they had somebody was infected, usually many uh, residents die there. Mm -hmm. and. So for me is uh, you know the happiness that I could have, but for me is uh, recognition. You know, it was not as important. For me, it was enough that I know that I did something. Mm -hmm. But uh, to know the whole world, it was for me is was never mm -hmm. a priority. Mm -hmm. And how have you dealt with disappointments in your career? I am. Um, when I was in high school, I learned from Janos Scheye, Hans Scheye, who coined the word stress, how to handle it. And so every time, what is the mantra he's saying, you have to ask what I can do. Yeah. So it's not, uh, you know, when disappointment was there and not say that, oh, my supervisor should do that or, you know, the grant agency or those who reviewed my paper should <laughs> accept it. No. What I can do. And then when I was reading the criticism, let's say that, um, you know, reading and I said, oh, these people did not understand. And mm. instead of blaming them, saying that they are stupid, they don't understand, I say again, they did not understand. Probably I did not explain well. So always what I can do, write better, do more experiment, clear about what was the findings. Mm. And so that's that's how I deal with always look for what I can do, mm. not others mm. and not to blame others mm. and, uh, and not to compare, you know, myself mm. with others like uh, because you always could see that somebody is, um, you know, maybe work less and advancing more and promoted more. And you see, oh, that's not fair, but not, it's not comparing yourself mm. because if you already pay attention, what is about others? 
you already took away attention, what you can do. And if you focus on what you can do, is, mm. is, uh, then you can advance your knowledge. Yeah, well, that's, that's <laughs> great to hear.